Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to make this St. Patrick's Day butternut squash frittata. And a frittata is basically like an omelette that serves a lot of people and you don't fold it over. So I'm going to start with six eggs since there's only two of us that are going to be eating it, but you can also use eight. And I like spice, so I put in some chili powder and then just beat this with a fork until it's all mixed together. Then add half a cup of milk or if you're using more eggs you can do slightly over half a cup of milk and then as much cheese as you like I use probably about a quarter of a cup to half a cup of cheese because I really like cheese and then just combine this in with the rest of the egg mixture you can choose whichever veggies you want to put in your frittata I used what I had on hand and what I like so I just diced up some onions from half an onion and put that in a saute pan and then for the butternut squash I'm gonna cook it in the microwave so the proper way to do it is cutting slits in it so it doesn't explode but the easy way to do it is just to hack it but be careful don't get your hand oop that was close uh, so yeah that's the easy way basically you have to cut it so the heat can escape from inside so you don't have a butternut squash bomb in your microwave and then put it in the microwave for about 10 to 15 minutes when it's done take it out and it's going to be extremely hot so that's why I'm using an oven mitt for the hand that is touching it ideally it'd be best to wait about half an hour but this is already taking a while to bake or it will take a while so I'm not going to wait another half an hour but to be safest you should wait so then cutting up your butternut squash you can when you cut it up you can either keep the skin on and then you just have little morsels that have the skin on it it gets soft after you cook it all so it was fine to eat as long as you know you wash it beforehand or you can kind of de-skin it and then just use the insides so cut up as much butternut squash as you want or any other veggies that you're putting in it and I basically put enough to line the whole bottom of a casserole dish as you get to the thick side or the bulb side of the butternut squash there are seeds so you can take them out a couple of the seeds ended up in there they were fine to eat so then I added the onions that are all soft now after being sauteed on the stove and then you're going to add in that egg cheese milk mixture so just pour it all over and if there are any bits that are poking up of your squash just poke them down with your finger it stays under and then we are going to make our shamrock so I used a green bell pepper so you're going to cut off the bottom and then just make some two slim, thin slices or however big your um, casserole dish is however many four leaf clovers it can hold and then for the stem just take the kind of insides out of the bell pepper and then we're just going to use one of those kind of outside bits and just plan it out, arrange or rearrange your bell peppers of how you want to put them into the dish once they're ready. So then you can gently put it into the egg and since I have so much squash underneath it they're basically sitting on top of the squash just right on top of the layer of egg. So put that in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit and bake it for around 30 minutes. When you take it out, the top should be golden and it shouldn't be liquid anymore, especially in the inside. You can insert a knife in there and make sure that it comes out clean. And then you can go ahead and serve it. I hope you guys like this and let me know if you try it.